thank you for joining me for another caliber comparison video. This one was requested by one of my viewers to do, like many of my videos. I was interested to see how these two would compare because they are so similar, and so I figured a video showing the 300 Win Mag versus the 300 WSM would be a great video to do. Go ahead and uh, hit subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. Or if you have any requests, you want to see a couple of caliber calibers compared, go ahead and comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. Let's go ahead and jump in here. We'll start with recoil. I have included the rifle weight, which I have not done in the past. It is available on Chuck Hawk's recoil table already. I just didn't include it in the past, but I decided to throw it in this one just so you can see the difference here. The 300 WSM. 150 grains, recoils 22.5 pounds with an 800 or an 8 and a quarter pound rifle. Velocity for the recoil is 13.3. Uh, 7 and a quarter pound rifle is very light, especially for a caliber like this. 27.1 foot pounds of recoil. Velocity is 15.5. So that is the most recoil between the two, at least out of what they have here for the bullets. And that's because of how much lighter the rifle is. You can see the same bullet shot out of a heavier life rifle has uh, three and a half pounds less of recoil. Very similar down here, 23.5 pounds, 26.2 pounds. It would be probably a little bit higher on the Win Mag. It does have a little bit more recoil than the WSM. And if you had a seven and a quarter pound rifle, this would probably be 28, maybe even 29 foot pounds. Let's go down to commercial ammo, starting out with the Hornady ELDX commercial loads, 178 grain ELDX precision ammo at 1,000 yards, 1,504 feet per second, 894 foot pounds of energy, drops 285 inches, 200 grain ELDX precision, uh, 1,115 foot pounds of energy, 285 foot drop, 1,584 FPS. And then we have the 220 grain. This is the newest one available from Hornady for the 300 Win Mag. And this is 1658 feet per second, 1,343 foot pounds of energy at 1,000 yards, which is really high there. 268.9 inch drop. It's because this has almost a 700 BC. Ballistic coefficient is very high on this bullet. Let's go down 180 grain SST, 846 foot pounds of energy, 273 inch drop, 180 grain GMX, 820, 284. 165 GMX, 759 with a 262 inch drop. Nostler Partition, 180 grain, 576, 355. And then you have the Nostler Trophy Bonded Tip, 180 grain, 787, 303. And then the Sierra Match King uh, Federal Ammunition here. Boat Tail Hollow Point, 190 grain is 1,068 foot pounds and 279. And then this is brand new from Federal is designed to compete with the ELEX. There's a lot of comparisons showing the Edge TLR compared to the ELEX. Uh, 1,065 foot-pounds of energy, 1,554 and 297 inch drop here. This is the exact same load data, exact same performance that Federal has for the 300 mag as well. If we scroll down there, you can see it's the exact same performance both ways. Moving on to the, excuse me, that was a 300 Win Mag, 300 WSM, uh, 200 grain ELDX, which is the only one available for the 300 WSM, 1,076 foot pounds. You compare that to 1,115 up here, so they're fairly close. This one's this one's maybe 5% less than all of the comparisons that I've seen. 1,076, next one down, 165 GMX, 736. 165 grain interlock is 700 foot pounds. Trophy grade long range AccuBond is 1,007 foot pounds. 289 inch drop there. This is a 180 grain AccuBond loaded by Nostler, 765 foot pounds, 303 inch drop. Uh, interestingly enough, Federal also loads the 180 grain AccuBond and they load it hotter than Nostler does. Or 805 foot pounds of energy there. 300.5 inch drop, so two and a half inch drop less, slightly higher there, slightly faster as well. And then you have the 180 grain E tip in between 874. And then again, that one that is the same for both calibers there. The comparison 300 Winchester short magnum is 878.5 foot pounds of energy average between all these commercial ammo at 1,000 yards, and the 300 Win Mag is 927 foot-pounds of energy at 1,000 yards. Obviously, you want to pick the best bullet for what you're going to be shooting. If you're going to be shooting at 1,000 yards, you'd pick one of these long-range bullets right here, some one of those, 
And if you do just pick, you just want the best bullet, the uh, Winchester Magnum right here with the 220 grain would be the best option for both. This is going to kick quite a bit because it is the heaviest bullet out of everything here. Uh, that grain of bullet is just getting a little too long for the Winchester short magnum case, which is why they don't offer it for that one. Overall, you're seeing a combination between the both. The averages, they're very close. Pick the best bullet for what you're doing. It's going to be very similar. And that's the end of part one. I will continue part two soon. Part one is factory ammo, and that concludes part one. Part two is handloads from, I pick, Hornady handloads and Nossler handloads and I will compare those in part two. Thanks for joining me again. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. If you have any comments, go ahead and post them below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.